Good morning in the morning. Hello friends and followers. Um, it is early in the morning. It is Friday and I am just choosing a sketch out of my big sketch library. I think I want to paint something similar to this one here because uh, today I will paint a canvas on my wall in my garden. Let's print this one. Print, print, print. This is the canvas that I ordered online. It just arrived yesterday. So let's go in the garden and do some preparations for this nice canvas. The canvas that I bought is 10 meters long and 2 meters and 20 centimeters high. Measuring the 4 meters <laughs> And professional Smo uses this electric tool to cut it all cool. No, this was the second try. The first try I tried it with a knife. Look! <laughs> Sometimes I'm so stupid. Look what I do! Okay, but the can was, was long enough for two tries. Now let's fix the canvas to the wall. And this is the reason why I have chosen to build a wooden wall because I always wanted to work with canvas on this wall as well. Okay, now let me Okay, now let me tell you the story why I paint this canvas over here. There was a guy in the comments section and yes, I'm pretty active in the comments section. And there was one guy, he asked me if it was possible to buy these wooden boards here. He wants he wants to buy my wall. And I said, uh, yeah, this is a very stupid idea. I like stupid ideas, but you don't have to buy them. Just bring me two new boards for every board that you take with you. So that means that uh, he will have to replace all these boards so they are all new. And I always wanted to make the back side of the wall as well. And there's still all this construction stuff and I can't paint on this wall like it is now. And he said, uh, yes, he is a woodworker. He knows how to do all this stuff. He has all the tools and the material. It is no problem for him. And I just thought, yeah, this is brilliant. And then he found out that this wall is just a little bit bigger than his uh, living room. A little bit. And he asked me if I can make a canvas in this size, four meters wide, two meters high. Uh, but he will come to me anyways and he will help me to build the backside of the wall. And this is what we want to do tomorrow. And he will get this nice canvas for all his work. And so the front side will stay as it is. And tomorrow we will build the backside. And this will be the foundation for all my tutorials that I want to do in this year. Yes, I want to make tutorials. I want to tell you all the secrets about 3D, about uh, lettering, uh, everything that I know. Uh, what I found out and I think that there are no um, there are no general rules about graffiti and letters and all this stuff but I can tell you my personal rules and if you want to paint similar to me you want to paint the same style like me I have no problem with it if anyone copies me or wants to paint like me because for me it is just I paint and it is fun for me to paint how I paint and if other people have fun as well painting like me why should I be against it it, just, it makes no sense for me uh, to keep it like a patent to paint like me because my style isn't uh, very unique anyways I always tried to paint mainstream style this was always my goal I know that I did so many things wrong in uh, comparison to what a regular graffiti artist should do but I give a damn fuck about all these rules I do what I want and I will paint um, his, the style that I want to paint for him will be this this one pretty similar to this one here uh, and I will paint it in the color combination that uh, my friend Doe the Traveling Man um, created in the exchange sketch that we did together. 
So, well, this is what we wanted to do today. Pretty small. Look at this. Yeah, let's start. Okay friends and followers, the first lines are done. As usual, I made them with a first line color and an eraser color so uh, that I can always adjust the first lines a little bit. A lot of people back then were laughing about me that I do it this way. I just remember one person who always told me <laughs> It's most the only person who even cuts the first lines. But it gives me a better feeling. This is the same way like I would work on paper or if I work di digitally, why should I do it on the wall in a different way? Always when you do new things, new problems will appear. And uh, yeah, I did not see it coming, but look over there. The spray paint does not really cover that well on the canvas. I don't know why, but it looks also dirty. Okay, always if there is a problem, there is always a solution as well. So I will keep the whole style a little bit more dirty and I will do a little bit more fill-in effects so that it will be not visible at the end. But this is annoying at this moment. I don't, I don't like it. Okay, after finishing the, the fill-in, I decided to paint over everything a second time again. Now all my spray cans that I wanted to use are more, yeah, the most of them are empty. And at this time I feel super insecure about the fill-in. I will do just the, the outlines now and the block and all the effects and after that I will see what the style still needs because i lost i lost control about everything that i that i do today this happens not very often to me ah, fuck but i have to deliver because the guy is coming tomorrow and there are still some hours of daylight left and i have to finish this within the next three and a half hours fuck I don't know why but I'm super afraid at this moment that this canvas all in all will look like crap fuck I don't know if this is a brilliant idea This is crazy. This is totally crazy. And just after the first first lines, I have the feeling that this will look brilliant. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Man. Now now I feel super happy. Oh, come on, you don't want to live in my brain, really not.
Schön, schön, schön. Yo! But before I show you the final result, here is some quick footage from um, building the backside of the wall. And this is the guy who wants to have the canvas. He and a friend of him um, visited me in the garden uh, with a big truck and all the material. And then we started building the backside. And we are pretty smart just to know where to put the screws from this side. We first screw some screws from the back side so that we have these holes here and then we can fix the boards for the backside construction. And we are nearly done. Look over there. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks brilliant already. Ah. Virgin, virgin boards ready to be painted. Nearly. Yeah, and this, this uh, boards here were the boards that we screwed from the other side and now we will use these boards one at the bottom, one in the middle, one at the top and the big OSB boards will be fixed soon so cool uh, and by the way I know that a lot of people out there want to know how did you build this wall and I will show you some footage so now check out how I have built this wall Back in 2017 when we moved to this house the ground was full of trees and full of plants everywhere was growing a lot of ivory and there was this fence that I had to remove first. Yes! <laughs> After the fence was professionally removed I tightened the cord and marked the position of the pillars every two meters. Look! Okay, first I have to dig some holes. Okay, basically the wall will be fixed in the, in the ground with these iron shoes and so that they don't fall in the holes I've made this wooden construction here. And here with this machine I will make the concrete. While the wooden construction holds the iron shoes in the air, I have um, the possibility to fill the holes with concrete. Uh, yeah, and then everything has to dry first. Look there. I just bought some new material for the garden wall hall of fame in my backyard project. Yeah, and this is how my backyard wall looked like on day two. And I was so highly motivated to paint on this wall that I, yeah, I even painted some graffiti on the wall even before it was finished. And I did this together with my best friend Jan and we painted a 49ers graffiti. It was his wish, he's a 49ers fan. On day four, I covered the wall with the old OSB panels from my old studio. 
The friends and followers who follow me for more than three years probably still know the studio. And somehow it is funny that I recycled some of the panels and they still survived and helped me to do my art in my garden. And I know that you want to see the final result and I will show it to you now. Okay, friends and followers, and just with the help of these two cool guys, now we have doubled the size of my garden wall. <laughs> this is so extreme. And uh, I want to do tutorial stuff and dirty stuff and uh, quick graffitis, um, yeah, everything that is fast, that does not have to look like a very cool concept wall, what I always see when I look out of my living room window. Yeah, a new era has just begun. Thanks, Rickard, and uh, thanks, Fabian, for your help. So great! <laughs> Super cool! Yeah, and I hope that you were a little bit entertained by this super strange and confusing video. Uh, I hope you learned something about building own walls in your garden or wherever you want to build a wall. Don't forget to like the subscribe button. That's it for today. And uh, I hope to see you in the next project. You are not alone. Oh, come on, you don't want to live in my brain. Really not.